Well, the Georgia Ports Authority's uh, police department is looking to expand their officer numbers. As WTOC's Flynn Snyder reports, it comes at a time of rapid growth at the Savannah Ports Authority. At the Port of Savannah, trucks, trains, and ships are loaded with millions of cargo containers each year. It's a constant operation that requires round-the-clock patrol from the port's own 200-person police department. So we're doing traditional police work, but we're also providing industrial security. Uh, we're creating a safe environment for all port users because it's very important to us that people go home just as they arrived. Kevin Doyle with Port Police says his officers work to protect the port but the department is now faced with a new challenge. And several port expansion projects are currently in the works. Officials here say the need for more space brings the need for more officers. The Georgia Ports Authority recently announced a nearly $2 billion infrastructure project that aims to increase capacity and add 100 acres of storage. Right now we have approximately 60 openings for port police officers. Doyle says port expansions mean the port police department must now grow by 30 percent. Most police departments in America right now are facing some sort of shortage. Ours is, is coming a little bit differently in that it's not because people are leaving, it's because we're growing. Not only is the port growing, but so too is the port police's jurisdiction. Earlier this year, the General Assembly passed a bill giving port police officers the power to arrest for offenses committed within one mile of port property. It's to help with truck traffic or trains or anything sort of on the properties just outside of our gates so we can be good citizens. Despite the need to expand, Doyle says he's confident the department can fill the new openings. With the starting pay for Academy certified officers at $31.20 an hour, the department is hosting a hiring fair at 100 Main Street in Garden City on November 3rd at 9 a.m. Reporting in Garden City, Flint Snyder, WTOC News.